Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Truck and we are playing RimWorld Alpha 16 on extreme difficulty as the Flaming Muffalo Nomads. Welcome back. Um, I, said I, I said I'd do these priorities off screen, but maybe some people want to want to learn stuff, so I'm going to show this. Um, we need one person who goes for the hauling at all times, and that's going to be Tinga. He's, he's a fine cook actually, but... Yeah, I guess we're gonna make Bula into that one. Uh, so growing, no. Plant cutting, no. You're only gonna haul Bula for now. We're gonna need you for hunting later. Uh, but everyone who is a fair cook. Now we've got Boxroid. I'm gonna turn mining and plant cutting off. And you're gonna be a cleaner, then a hauler, and then all of your other things. I think that's fair. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so, a cleaner and a hauler. Both of them are not going to cook because they're not good at it. Orange, you're not going to cook. Um, so, that means that you yeah, you can construct. Growing is no longer in fashion. Plant cutting is important. And then you're going to clean as well. I'd like to haul instead. I mean, cleaning is important, but... You know, we definitely need one other person to do it. Um, so we've got Orange, Buddha, Boxroid. Who's our worst cooker out of these? Everyone is pretty good at cooking because that's just how it is with the tribe. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see if if that works. We're gonna see if that works. We don't need that much hauling, but we need the refueling of all these fires. That's something that's important. Profit still on the construction duty, which might not be the best idea either. And we're gonna put that down. Growing is on two. One growing is gonna be on three. It's not that important. Constructing is good on profit though. Let's bring the growing down. Shakar. Yeah, kind of important. Polar bear two is fully healed. That's great. Um, construction on Shakar can actually go down to two. So, growing. I actually like you to cook. Um, profit, cook. Tinga, you're fine. Smeagol, you're gonna cook, I guess. Half hand definitely needs to cook. Modge, you're great at cooking, so that's gonna be a one. And Geo, you're also great at cooking, so we're gonna do that. Geosar has gotten food poisoning. That's kind of nasty. Yeah, and everything is um, refueled, which means now we can make everything into pemmican. At least everyone should be going for pemmican. Yes, they are. Oh, uh, that someone refuels this. Come on, Bola, what are you doing? Holding berries. That's actually not what I want you to do. That's for the animals to do. I mean, okay, it's fine, I guess. Are still people going for plant cutting? Hmm, doesn't look like it. No one is cutting any plants anymore. So I guess I'm gonna change the priorities around one more time. Well, no. Most people actually have the plant cutting. I'm gonna bring it up to everyone, uh, for everyone to one, so stuff happens. Um, Buddha, go and refuel that stove. That's what we need, nothing else. Holy cow, this thing is full with wood. I guess I, I guess I do have to um, to improve this stuff. People from Leonor Accord are moving by. And yeah, it would really be good if I had more um, stools and stuff. Um, Boxroid. I'm gonna make you our number one constructor again. Yeah, everyone else construction duty is kind of off. We're gonna have you construct. And what I want um, is dining chairs. I want some good dining chairs for the people that are cooking. And we also want some nice dining chairs in here. We want chairs for the people that are gonna sit and do the research, which we don't have. Um, I was hoping that Maria could do it, but it's not gonna happen. At least not right now. 
So half end is cooking. We need a crap ton of pemmican. We need a huge amount of it. I wonder if I shouldn't flip the um, flip the whole meal thing. Let's hope that they don't rot away. But everything is already freezing. These guys will rot away. Fresh, not refrigerated. Spoils in one day. That's not good. Won't spoil. Tell you what, we're not gonna allow. Yeah, no, that's that's kind of bad. Hmm. Tell you what, we're gonna deconstruct these campfires for now. Yes, the work speed is gonna be bad, but at least none of these animals will spoil. Uh, at least until we've made um, a bunch of this stuff into pemmican. So that is what should happen. We're still plant cutting. Yes, we're still plant cutting. Peter has gotten food poisoning from the berries. That's fine. At least we're getting some berries still. Oh yeah, and in terms of animals, we could actually go for the hauling training again. That's not that bad. Um, okay, none of these can really happen. I'm gonna keep the caribou that we that we got, the tame caribou, just for um, slaughtering it in the winter. It's only the 8th of fall, so things are fine still. Harvesting a raspberry bush. We're still gonna get a crap ton of berries out of this. And we have a combat supplier again. Federation of Minyaga only, but maybe they bring some more grizzlies. Okay, box right, creating more um, chairs. Yeah, you really are a great carpenter, Boxroid, I gotta say. Okay, another dining chair. Oh, it's a poor one. That's not good. We're gonna deconstruct that one again. It can happen, though. It can happen. It's not bad. An excellent one and a superior one. I'd call that good enough. What we get down here? Another superior chair. That's great. Um, that one is a masterwork. Um, this furniture betrays uh, bears a portrayal of Bosto Geosar Lur, teaching obedience to a husky as the other colonists do actual work. <laughs> I like the subtle diss in there. <laughs> Geosar is shaking her head in frustration. The subjects are in front of a desert where the work has an unoriginal feeling and a very dynamic structure. This depiction relates to the training of the husky on 12th of spring, 5500. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. That is one of the best elements. Um, it's also great in, in stuff like Dwarf Fortress. Just having these little nuggets of history in there makes me supremely happy. Okay, that's a normal, normal chair. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. If only the game will let me um, do my things. Okay, let's talk to let's talk to the guys. They don't seem like they have any anything that um, of use for us. Should we sell stuff? Now, what are you bringing? We could buy pemmican, but I doubt that that's a thing. We could buy some herbal meds. We still have the gut worms in our colony, which um, yeah, don't make me too happy. Frag grenades, kibble. I mean, I could buy the pemmican, theoretically. It's gonna cost more than the money that I have, though. It's not quite worth it, I'd say. Um, we've got a bunch of these huskies. I mean, we could slaughter the huskies as well. No, I guess I'm just gonna sell some of the small male huskies so we, no, we don't quite have to feed as many of them. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yep, I think that looks good. Do we have enough male huskies? Yeah, we've got green, we've got Chun, um, we've got Peter. Yeah, that should be fine. How's your how's your life expectancy? Twelve. Yeah, we're nowhere we're nowhere close to losing losing things. Okay, we're just gonna sell two huskies. Let's do it. Okay, our pemmican is actually growing at a fairly fast rate. 
Um, oh yeah, and these guys are actually eating that kind of stuff. I'm not sure I'm happy with that. Because I'd like them to eat their hay grass. Yeah, I tell you what. Um, zone area, we're gonna, for grazers. I'm gonna clear out this area. They're not gonna eat our stuff. Stay out of there. Naomi's pregnant, again, one of our huskies. That's great. Great news. And these two need to be refilled again, which is kind of shit. Yeah, the, the storing of things inside these sleeping rooms, definitely a bad idea. I just didn't get around to building another food storage um, place, which I guess I should. So, how are these, how are these stools? Excellent. That's still not being, that's still not built. Superior, normal. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna put some, some additional structure up. Come on, um, some wooden structure. So, I'm gonna bring it up like this. I'm gonna bring it up like this. Okay, we're gonna have a psychic drone, which, yeah, does piss me off a little bit, but oh well. Snarfy has gotten food poisoning. The caravan is leaving. That's all fine and dandy. Um, we've got to floor this, so we're going to give it a wooden floor. Uh, I guess we're going to put a door in. Make this our overflow food storage. I guess. But actually, that's not the best spot to do that. I think we're going to put one in over here and over here. And... Cancel that one. Yeah, no one, no one is feeding these things, so we're not making food at quite the same rate. Geo, you're butchering, which is fine, but I'd rather you refill these stoves. Yeah, we're still cutting berries. I think that's an important thing, so I guess I just gotta refill these manually for now. I'm training grizzly bear too. Consuming some pemmican. No. Go ahead and refuel those stoves. Profit. Refuel the stove. Orange. You're training grizzly bear one. Okay. And we have a fire starting spree. And an escape pod. Okay. Rookie. What's your character? Oh, you have a cracked spine and you seem to be quite old. Another psychopath. <laughs> the game really wants us to have psychopaths. You're incapable of dumb labor. You're really good cook. You're quite the medic. I mean, someone incapable of dumb labor. I'm not sure if we want that, but I guess I gotta make the effort. Modge is on a fire starting spree. Great. Um, where's Modge? Over here. Yeah. Start as many fires as you want. I don't care. Um, profit. Refueling wood stove. Yes. Okay, you're consuming berries. No. We're actually gonna go ahead and rescue Rookie. I'm gonna try to patch him up. If he joins, fine. If not, also fine. Boxrod has gotten food poisoning. Yeah, psychic drone. Oh well. Um, actually, now that I come to think of it, might not be too great to have that fire um, spread over there. We'll just... I guess we'll try to stop it. Modge is out of her fire starting spree, so we can just deal with the aftermath now. And um, instead of having instead of having it eat all the berries and stuff, so I guess that's fair. And I also don't want the animals to to die from it. Yeah, that's working fine. Okay, right. Fine, Prophet has gotten food poisoning from the berries. Buddha, where are you going? No, we have got to refuel that stove. You've got to refuel that stove. You've got to refuel that stove. These stoves need to be working at all times. Minus 14, minus 14. Actually, we're going to hold these open again. Just so that we have quick and easy access.
I guess I don't really have to build this in the fashion that I used to build it. Oh, we have hypothermia. Rookie, why, why, why are you here? Why are you here? I thought we'd, I thought we'd patched you up. Guys, you did that shoddy work. Come on, Prophet. And don't kill him. Just saying. Oh, you're playing horseshoes now. I thought you'd go to sleep, but oh well. A raccoon has self-tamed. Yeah, we definitely don't want that raccoon. We, although, I mean, it is meat, but let's just have it slaughtered. I don't want to feed it. Watch has gotten food poisoning from the berries. That's fine. Will someone pitch, uh, patch him up? Um, Geo, maybe? Well, you're still sleeping, I guess, so that's fair. I hope that gets built. I need it. I need more food storage. Um, throwing the food in the bedrooms is kind of suboptimal. Yeah, Boxrod is getting to it though, so that's good. Uh, where are you? Rookie. Making pemmican. Oh yeah, you really joined! <laughs> nice! Okay, welcome. We gotta, we gotta give you a new name. Um, and you're gonna be... Interesting. I'm gonna see if the... Um, if it actually fits. No, wait. I think it's character. Yeah, character over here. Um, so you're no longer gonna be rookie. You're gonna be... Meinhardt. As raw. <laughs> okay, welcome to the colony. Um, just gotta cross you off the list. Makes me very happy to have you in here. Um, fine, so in terms of work, you'll not be able to do much, but you are a good doctor, so we're gonna put you on the doctoring duty. You're a best doctor now. I'm gonna take... I mean, yeah, I guess that's fine. Let's take these guys to level 2 doctors. Bed rest is important, flicking is important, animal handling, yes, if you can do it. Uh, but cooking is gonna be your main thing. And then researching if you have nothing to cook. Mining is also fine. Um, no hauling and no cleaning though. So, yeah, I guess we gotta live with that. Cooking is good though. I think you're gonna you're gonna cook for a long while, all the time basically. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, what's that chair? That's a good chair. Okay, let's build a copy. Or a research bench. There's actually no reason to have two research benches, but maybe some people might want to do that. Minot Astro has reached the biological age of 87. Unfortunately, you gained the following diseases due to aging cataract. Great. Congrats to your birthday. <laughs> You're pretty old, dude. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. We'll take good care of you until you die a horrible death in the colony. I've got some visitors from the White Tree Confederacy. They seem to have a few items to trade. We'll see what they wanna want, what they wanna trade away. So this place is nearly done. Nearly, not quite. Oh yeah, and Meinhardt actually needs a park of some sort of um, of some description. Uh, we don't have any. Interestingly enough, we have twenty Devil Strand. We've got a Devil Strand Two, a superior one. These AI Persona calls, you need them to build um, spaceships and stuff. They're very expensive as well. Um, what kind of weapon are we going to give you? The shotgun? I think we're going to give you the LMG. Oh, you will be unhappy because you're a brawler. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Well, I'm going to give you some sort of melee weapon. Did I sell our plastic knife? I think so. That was premature of me. Um, and let's go ahead and let's make you a parker. That's definitely something that needs to happen. So do once. And we're going to have Modge do it. I'm going to make a parker out of... What are you doing? No, not pigskin. Wait, no. Um, details. We're going to use our own muffler wool for that. Mega sloth muffler wool. So suspend. Make it happen again. Modge. So yeah, we're gonna take some some nice nice muffler wool to make um, to make Meinhardt a um, a Parker. Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time we'll try to see what these guys have to trade. We'll um, 
increase our food storage, which might not be necessary, but we'll do it anyway. We'll try to train our animals and we'll try to prepare for winter as good as possible. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.